Hello, I'm Dr. W. John Martin. I would like to explain stealth adapted viruses. A basic premise of immunology is that the antigen receptors on each individual lymphocyte are genetically programmed to recognize only a single antigenic specificity. This poses a constraint on virus infected cells such that the effective engagement with a lymphocyte requires the infected cell to express multiple copies of the same antigen. Indeed, virus infected cells do express multiple copies of relatively few antigens rather than fewer copies of each of many different viral components. This constraint, however, also allows viruses a relatively easy out from immune recognition. It requires the loss or mutation of the genes encoding those relatively few components normally targeted by the cellular immune system. I refer to this immune evasion mechanism as stealth adaptation. A consequence is the absence of an accompanying inflammatory reaction. The existence of these infections is therefore not obvious by regular microscopy looking for signs of inflammation. The best studied stealth-adapted virus was cultured from a patient with a chronic fatigue syndrome. The molecular analysis showed that it was not derived from a human virus, but rather from an African green monkey cytomegalovirus. A similar virus was isolated from a patient with a bipolar psychiatric illness. The unequivocal derivation of these viruses from monkeys is realistically explained as a result of using cytomegalovirus infected monkeys to make polio vaccines. Other viruses can undergo stealth adaptation including herpes simplex, Epstein-Barr adenoviruses, enteroviruses and others. Rather than facing the reality of stealth adapted viruses, senior public health officials chose to turn a blind eye and in fact discouraged the research. One reason is that cytomegalovirus contamination of the experimental polio vaccine tested in Africa can explain the formation of HIV, the AIDS virus. While delaying the eventual criticism of using cytomegalovirus infected monkeys to produce polio vaccines, public health officials have allowed an epidemic of stealth adapted viral infections to impose an enormous medical cost on the community. The brain is particularly susceptible to symptomatic illnesses caused by stealth adapted viruses. I've cultured these viruses from many patients with non-inflammatory neurological and psychiatric illnesses. I am confident that they are the primary cause of autism and the chronic fatigue syndrome. Now for the good news. Even though their cellular immune system is indifferent to these viruses, they can be suppressed through an alternative cellular energy pathway, or what I call the ACE, ACE pathway. Progress in this regard is sufficiently advanced to warrant major independent clinical trials. Information is available in a published book, Stealth Adapted Viruses, Alternative Cellular Energy Ace in Kalia Activated Water. Public health officials, along with philanthropic groups, need to be encouraged to become involved in this research endeavor. Greater public awareness of stealth adapted viruses and internet discussions along these lines might help move this program forward. I'd be pleased to answer inquiries to wjohnmartin at ccid.org or by telephone at 626-616-2868. Thank you very much.